to paint the golden wattle. I'm going to be using Holbein watercolors. I've got Oriolan, Cobalt Blue, Pernant, Alizarin, Crimson and Burnt Sienna. And from that, I'm going to make the colors that I need to paint the wattle. So over in my palette, I've already squeezed out some Oriolan. I've got some Burnt Sienna. I already have some Alizarin, Permanent Alizarin Crimson in my palette. And what I need is to add some Cobalt Blue. Cobalt Blue is a pure blue. All of these colors, these top three colors, are. Um, colors that sit on the outside of the wheel, the color wheel, and burnt sienna, however, sits on the inside of the color wheel because it's a brown. So it's made up of the other three colors. It's actually a single pigment um, tube of watercolor. Two quills, this is a size two, and this is a size zero, zero. I've got a little tiny liner. I've got a little flat, a little flat brush. It's actually called a, a wash, a half inch wash, but it's about a centimetre long. Just giving all of them a good rinse to double check I don't have any residual um, paint left in there. Now I need to be thinking about which, um, how to make this really lovely grey green. So it's going to involve a little bit of uh, this Oriolan and then I'm going to put a little bit here for mixing. And then to that Oriolan, I'm going to add cobalt. So here's cobalt blue. And I'm going to add a tiny bit. And as we know, yellow and green make, yellow and blue make green. So I've got this lovely green, but it's not even slightly like the gray green of my leaf. So I'm going to neutralize it with the teensiest bit of red. And if I just add that tiny little bit, I get a little closer to this gray red. I'm gonna be adding the red in the most tiny amounts because it can suddenly go to the other side. Okay, it's moving towards a more of a lovely gum leaf green. So that's good, tiny bit of red, just adding a little more. Right, I'm going to see how that looks in a paler version there. So the really pale version is getting incredibly close to um, the lovely leaf of the golden wattle. So. Just double check that red is really well mixed. Okay, and we've got a gray green. So I made a green with blue and yellow and then I neutralized it with red, which is its complement. Okay, I'm gonna just get myself a lovely piece of, put those up there, my Holbein watercolors. And I'm going to now switch to a piece of Ash watercolor paper. And just going to rotate the beautiful blossoms so they're coming towards me. And I'm going to paint little fuzzy balls of um, yellow and then um, and do the leaves. Actually, since I've got the green all sorted, I think I'll do the leaves first. So I've got a really small a uh, liner brush and I'm going to paint in some of these leaves up here. Little bit of water and then drop in. It's really hard to see where I put the water so I'm just turning the page on the side so I can see. Oh, there it is. There's the green. Right. I'm just making it way too hard for myself. Okay, I'm going to keep a better track of where the next one is. That's my green. Back to my water and a little bit of water, a little bit of green. 
right. <laughs> I'm losing track again of weather. Water is, there it is. A little bit of green. There, I'll give this one a little more dark on the side there. Back to my wet brush. There's another leaf. This one sits in front. So I'll do the front facing leaf or the top leaf first and a little bit of green. There's a delightful little one that comes out this way. So it comes up there and it's got a side sitting up on it there. There's a little poking leaf here with the yellow all around it. And a switch methods put the water second much easier to see. Yeah. And do little balls that go to the next little ball. And they're all touching each other. So I'm going to paint them that way. Touching, touching. There's some in behind there, some in behind there. I'm going to switch to a wet brush, just water, and drag out some of the colour. Just, just water. Just remove some. Push the colour out. More yellow. Just painting little balls.